Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Today we're going to make some little Christmas decorations and the jars that I've got set out in front of me, I've just collected them. They're all that been used for food and things like that. So these ones had little puddings in, we've got some jam jars, um, that I think had some cranberry sauce in. So we've got all sorts of different sizes, just so I could show you really the different sizes and how they looked. Um, so what we're going to do is to melt some wax. Now there are a couple of ways that you can do this. You can buy the actual wax pellets or the little flakes. This is soy wax, you can buy all sorts of different wax. Um, so this is already melted down. But what I'm going to give a try, um, I'm going to try and melt just some candles. Now these came from Sainsbury's, but you can get candles from anywhere, I'm sure, Poundland and all sorts of different places sell them. So just get your normal bog standard, standard candles. And what I'm going to do is do like um, a bain marie. So I'm going to put a hot pan with, with hot water in, and then I'm going to put a bowl on the top, and we're going to melt the wax in that. So I'm actually in the middle of cooking my tea at the moment. Uh, so we've got some potatoes that are bubbling away in the background. But I'm going to get these candles and I'm going to put them, I'll probably put maybe three in to start with, put them in this bowl and the heat is going to warm the candles up and it's going to, to melt them. Now it's obviously going to take longer doing it this way than it would the flakes because the flakes are already broken up. But I wanted to show you that you could um, make these yourself and it's really accessible to get the wax. And so what I'm going to do is melt those down and then I'll show you what to do next. So we obviously discussed using different containers and you can buy containers if you wanted to but I thought it'd be nice to use something that you had so you can kind of recycle them. Um, but what you can also buy is different fragrances. So you can use different jars but you can also use different fragrances in your candle and you can get also different colours. So you can get like a mica or something or you can get something to, to colour them. I'm going to leave these just a plain colour this time. But yes, yeah, so you can do that as well. You could maybe get some Christmassy scents or something. I mean, this one here is cranberry, orange and cinnamon. So you could put like a festive scent in if you're doing them for Christmas time. Uh, I bought these. I think you can get a lot of these on eBay, um, different kinds of scents and things. So do, you know, bear that in mind if you want to do that. I think mine are just going to be plain today because we're going to dec decorate the jars in a Christmassy theme. So I think they'll look quite nice plain. So the candles are melting over there. When they've melted, we'll start and pour them into the jars. Now I did think, while that's melting, I could show you and talk to you a little bit about the different wicks. Now I've got loads of different wicks here, and for the life of me, I can't remember what type of wax you're supposed to use them for. So I'm gonna take pop look, and I'm just gonna use them and see how we get on. So a wick, you can buy wicks, so you've got the little flat part there and you've got the, the part and this is the part that you light. Now there's different ways you can do it, you can actually stick them to the bottom, you can get bits to sort of hold them still. I have got somewhere some sticky tabs to go on the bottom down there but I can't find them so I'm just going to use some of this, um, if you've got like double sided tape or something like that, I've got some of this craft tape so I'm just going to cut a little bit off there and just stick it down with that. I've also got the glue gun. I'm going to try that and see if that works. Uh, it's just to hold it in place when you're pouring the wax in because it obviously it, it could really move. So for these little ones, they're dead fiddly, I'm just going to stick a bit of double-sided tape on there and then stick that into the middle of the pot. These are quite easy to get to because they're really quite shallow. So I'll just pop that in there. Now we can trim the wick at the end so it doesn't matter that it's ginormous. Um, so there's that one and I'm just going to stick them on but I'm going to have a go with a hot glue gun because I thought that might work quite well if it's warmed up enough. Do you know I need a new glue gun. This has got all sorts of bits stuck to it and goodness knows what else. And also sorry if my fingers look like I've got green bits in my nails. I was doing a project with um, Courtney earlier on today and uh, I had to help with something green. So this is the hot glue and I'm just going to poke that in and just hold that so while they're melting these um, can sort of all be stuck down. I think I might hot glue them in. It seems to be a little bit easier just put a little splodge on them. Now incidentally if you are actually making these to sell you need to check if there are any rules and regulations where you live. I know there are with things like bath bombs and soaps and stuff so just make sure you're allowed to sell them if you're going to, to do that. Now, I'm going to do this jam jar as well. I don't know how many I'll fill with wax but um, hopefully we'll get a few done. 
And that's obviously a shorter wick, but it's still big enough um, for the jar. And we'll do this little one as well. So hopefully they'll all stick in time. Sometimes hot glue doesn't like sticking to glass, but um, I'm hoping it will just hold it enough to get the wax in and get the wax set, and then it should be all right. Right, so I'm going to leave those there. My wax is bubbling away quite nicely. I think once I've done the um, melted the candles, I might, if I need some more, I might use some of this, just melt some of that in the top as well. Um, I might have a little flip through my fragrances and see what I've got while I'm waiting, but I think I'm just going to stick to plain. Right, so I've got the mixture. I'm just going to pour it into an old jug just to make it easier for pouring into the candles. And if you have got something to hold the wick up, that would be helpful too. But what I'm going to do is just get this and pour a little bit in. I've spilt some on the surface there, so that's why I thought maybe a jug would be a good idea. So I'm going to pour some in, let that set, and then I'll pour a little bit more in. And if you have got something that you can use to hold the wick up, that would be helpful as well. And um, when I've used all this wax, what I'm going to do is to melt a little bit more of that soy wax so I can fill the other jars up as well. So I'm just going to do that with all the others and then I'll be back with you. So the jars are all dry now. I think they've set quite nicely. There is a slight difference in the colour with the wax and the candles that we used, but I still think they look really nice. So now we're going to decorate the jar. Okay, doke, so I've started decorating a few and I just want to show you what I've done. So this is the jam jar. I've got some um, ribbon here. I just went round it, to stuck it with a glue gun, did a little bow, just tied it in the middle there and stuck that on. Put some of this twine around the top and then can you see this like sparkly stuff? I think we bought this from Poundland. It's actually Christmas tree decorations. So I just put some of the lighter colour like the white one around the top I think that looks quite nice you could put something else I thought maybe um, a small twig of something or um, some of the gems or something in the middle that would be quite pretty but I kind of wanted to leave that one quite rustic so there's that one there this one is super simple and uh, it's kind of like a bit Scandinavian and I think I got this from the range last year I've just got this ribbon I cut off um, a piece use this part to go around the neck and then this heart I just literally just pulled that off and stuck it on but you could if you wanted to put more bits on you could put this, some beads on or something to hang down um, but I thought that looks quite cute and quite simple so there's that there now with regards to decorating them before anybody asks, I know you're going to ask, I would say these are for decorative purposes only. You have to be so, so careful when using candles. If you're putting bows and ribbon and material, it's going to it's going to catch on fire. If you're going to light it, it's going to catch on fire. So you have to be very careful. I wouldn't light them. I'm not recommending to light them. It's an idea. And, um, you know, if you if you use hot glue and you're going to put it next to something warm, it's going to melt. So the decorations will probably fall off if you melt it all the way down the jar, it gets really hot. So you would have to maybe use something else to stick it on and don't put anything near the top. Keep it quite low and keep your eye on it. Now this is another one, this is just another small jar and um, I've put some ribbon around that, made this little arrangement. I'm going to show you how I did that one on another jar, but I just wanted to show you that. This one here, I've got two of these and you can buy things like this. I've seen things like this already made in the shop, um, but I thought, I just sat here, come up with the idea, pop a bit of that round and um, especially if you've got like a lot of black and silver and you wouldn't necessarily need that at Christmas time, you could keep that out. Um, all year round so I'll show you how I did that one so we'll do that first and then we'll do the other one so all I used for this one was this jar and I think this had some little puddings in it so it was just dead easy to do and this came from Home Bargains let me just grab the piece it came in a big long bit like this decorative ribbon and all I did was cut some off because it cuts up really really easily and I measured the the jar like this and you just get your hot glue gun you just put a splodge on like that and then be very careful because it's um it's obviously quite warm all right so just stick that down and then any extra I've lost my scissors here they are any extra you can um just snip it off at the back so that will be the back part the bit you don't really you don't really see so just glue all that down now at the bottom because this jar is 
tapered at the bottom you'll get that kind of rim around there so all I did was get the hot glue gun poke it in and because there's sort of gaps in it you can just poke it and it will sort of bend to it it's not like a ribbon there is actually like little gaps so it'll go through so just poke all those bits down but be careful because you might burn yourself when you you're touching it so this is the bit that probably takes the longest now the ribbon that I used on the first one was a, a thinner width so I went round with it twice but since doing that one I have found a thicker black and I should be able to just go round it once hopefully it'll go round okay but we'll use the thinner ribbon so this is the thicker one it's slightly thicker and I'm going to put that round the top but this was the one I used on the other one it was thinner so I just went round two times can you see what I mean just so it was a bit thicker so always start at the back just pull these little bits of glue off because you always get those I'm hoping it's going to look like it matches there's a fly in the craft room and I don't know if you can hear it on camera but it's being quite buzzy and Phoebe's down here as well you popped down to help me haven't you Phoebs? so you just go all the way round we're going to start on another project me and Phoebe very shortly before you go bed aren't we? Yeah. Trying to get all these crafty videos done for you all. So we don't do as much crafting together as we want to really do with Phoebes. Mm. We'd like to do more wouldn't we? Yeah. So just go all the way around. I'm hoping this isn't going to be too thick because it looks like it comes up slightly higher than the other. Just stick that on. And then when you get round to this bit, let's do that and then we'll cut it off. So that's the back. And then just stick that back bit down. But really you can find all sorts of different jars that otherwise would go in the recycling and you can really jazz them up and make them into nice decorations again. That probably does stick up a little bit too much but I think it'll be okay still. So there's that part and then what I'm going to do is to make another little bow out of this thin stuff. All I did was cut a bit of ribbon and then it's just like tying a shoelace without the shoe. So you just go like that, go round and pull it and then you just take a second just to neaten it up and pull it nice and tight like that. So these will actually match these two, you just cut off at a bit of an angle, that's a funny angle, I cut that out, I can't really see down there. The light's not the best. And believe it or not, I do actually need glasses. Said the optician the other day. Right, so let's find the back and the front. So all we've got to do is just stick that on there. So get a bit of splodginess on there. Find out the back and the front. I always get them mixed up. And just stick that on there and then that is done you always get these little snotty bits when you've been using the glue gun and that is that one really done so you've got like a set of two there which I think looks really really cute so we'll just put those to one side and I'll show you how to do the other one now now this is the one the other one we did let's just move these out the way and we'll bring this in I absolutely love the shape of this jar I think this was some jam from Aldi but I think it's really nice um, so I'll just find the ribbon wherever that's disappeared to let me show you how we did this now this one I put the ribbon around the middle but you could if you wanted to put some around the top as well I think that would look quite sweet so you can just sort of chop and change and and kind of just do it how you feel at the time I think this kind of check stuff is really 
Christmassy, kind of the Scandinavian kind of look. And I really like that. I need to get a new glue gun, so if anybody's wondering what to get me for Christmas, I need a new glue gun. I think you can get those cold glue guns, can't you? But I'm not sure if they're any good. It sounds a good idea for me because of our little hot glue escapades that we get up to sometimes. I'll take half my skin off. Alright, stick that down. I haven't burnt myself yet, but I know I'm going to before now and Christmas. It's probably going to be a corker as well. Right, so that's stuck down. I stuck that down the top, around the top, so I think that looks quite cute. Now we'll make the middle bit. All I used for this were these ties from Poundland. Cut a bit off one of them. And then I'm also going to use some of these berries. Again, these came from good old Poundland as well, so I'm just going to snip a bit of that. I love it when they have loads of crafty bits in. Because it's um, quite nice when you don't have to buy, pay so much for your craft stuff. So, bend it a little bit, bend the greenery a little bit and then get the berries and just poke them in the middle. You have to let them dry for a second and then I've got a bit more of the ribbon. Cut a bit off. I also used a bell. I think Poundland have got bells but these were some that I had previously so I'm going to use that gold one because I think the colours go quite nicely with gold and all I did was get the piece of ribbon and I just tied it in the middle, can you see? I just tied a, a little kind of bow, which I just thought looked quite cute. But you wouldn't have to tie a bow, you could just like tie it, tie a knot, tie it off, that would be absolutely fine. So, I just think all these colours at Christmas go really, really nicely together. I've changed my table down here and I think it's a bit low and my back is absolutely killing <laughs> bending over. I am going to have to sort out a new filming area, I think. I've done that bow and I've kind of done the bow upside down but I don't think it'll matter too, too much. And then the end bits, you want to snip them at an angle and that just stops them fraying. And all I did with the other one is stick on one of these bells. And again, you get your glue gun and you splodge it in like that. And then stick that on to the jar. Okay, so I'm just going to get a bit of glue. I've run out of glue sticks again. Where did I put those? Thanks, babes. So is it a vital moment when you run out of your glue sticks? They put a splodgy on the middle and then I'm just going to stick that on. But as I say, if you do like this, it'll more than likely fall off because the candle will get hot. So as I say, I'd just stick with decorative purposes. And there we go. That's that one. Dead Christmassy, isn't it? So there's a small one and a large one. I just think they look really, really super cute. So I'm just going to clear the table and I'll show you them all. There we go. So that's them all finished. I've just put these onto my fireplace just so you can see them. But I think they look super, super cute. And as I said to you before, whichever ribbon or designs or decor suits your Christmas theme or your home decor, then just use that. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed watching this uh, little idea. And I'll see you all again soon. You take care. Bye for now.